Alright, what is up everybody? Cobra29 is back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very, your very own fighting game in Roblox Studio. Today, we're going to be looking at something like this. Obviously, this is a dummy right here, but we can use a real player. And as you can see, if we get close enough, we can hit and we can also kick. And we can, once it dies, we're no longer able to do it. But there's also a feature where if we were to die, it ragdolls us. So I'm really excited about this video. Let's dive right on into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, open an empty base plate. This is what we're going to be starting with. And then uh, if you want to get that cool map that I'm using, you can just search up map in the toolbox. And I'm actually using this map right here, the simulator map by Super XD. Alright, uh, so go ahead and you can drag that in to your game. And here we go, we have our cool map. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the explorer and properties by hitting view up in the top and clicking those and then we can hit control u or command u to ungroup this uh... next you can go ahead and get rid of that thumbnail camera we do not need that anymore and uh... whenever you're inser inserting a map click your model right whatever it's in and search for a script now there is one script inside of this model but i've already looked through this and this one's totally fine um, but typically, if you're just getting a map like this, and you search script, and you realize there's a script inside of your simulator map, or whatever map you're using, you typically don't want to use it, alright? You typically don't want to <coughs> use that, um, you know, model. Uh, next thing we can do is we can go ahead and search in the toolbox for another model. This one is going to be our uh, ragdoll, so let's go ahead and uh, type in ragdoll death. Alright, and then we can go ahead and click this one right here. Just click it, and it will add it to our game. All right, sorry about that. My computer was acting up, but anyway, you can grab this ragdoll on death and just drag it on into the workspace. And I believe there's n yeah, there's nothing we need to do with that. This is the model I use, and it does a really good job of ragdolling. Thank you so much to whoever created this. It's really really awesome. All right, so that is it for our models. Now let's get into the scripting and animating and all that fun stuff. Actually, first, let's go ahead and grab the spawn location and drag it up just a bit so it's on top of the map. That way people don't spawn, you know, like, under the floor. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into animating this. So Yeah, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, add an idle animation. So to do this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit plugins and click animation editor. And build rig. Click block rig R15. And now we have this dummy right here, okay? And we can use him. So click here to, uh, so click in the animation editor and then click the dummy. And then let's just name this uh, animation clip. Let's name it um, Idle Combat, okay? All right, so now that we have our dummy, we can start rotating these. So let's go into Home up here and click Rotate. And then we can click the little parts on him and we can rotate them up. Let's move the top arm up. And then this, let's move that kind of up a little bit too. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's do the same thing over here. Alright, so we have this sort of thing, alright. And then, um, once you get that, sorry about that, uh, ignore that, that was an, uh, something that wasn't supposed to happen, it's supposed to stay on the ca uh, character. So let's go ahead and rotate the arm right here. Let's just kind of rotate it in a little bit. And then let's click this other arm over here and also rotate it in a little bit. So it's kind of like, fight me, right? <laughs> so if you want... You can also add something with the legs, so you can kind of like bring that leg out and then click the lower leg and then uh, rotate it in so it's kind of like um, getting ready for a fight. You can also do this over here where you uh, kind of rotate the legs. Just kind of play around with it, make it look like you like it or look how you like it. And then uh, at this point, make sure that this is one, a one second long clip. You can, you can change it right here, but make sure it's a one second clip. Actually, the idle doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to keep it at one second, and come to about halfway, and let's go ahead and change this a little bit, okay? So let's uh, let's rotate the torso a bit, right? Let's kind of rotate it a bit, um, maybe rotate it just a tiny bit forward, just the slightest bit. Maybe let's uh, come over here, grab this upper arm, and rotate it down a little bit, and uh, we could do the same with the other arm, or we could rotate it up. Uh, we can do that. That looks pretty decent, okay? And then come over here in this whole line of diamonds, click right click it and hit copy selected or you can do control C. Then come over to one second with uh, your 
point uh, with your little line and hit control V uh, and paste it so I'm not really liking how this is looking not a huge fan so I'm gonna edit this a little bit uh, I kind of want it to bounce up and down almost um, so that it kind of looks like he's getting ready for a fight so what we can do is we can actually just go ahead and grab the torso right here and then come over here into home and click move and we can actually move it up and down a little bit so as you can see now we have that kind of little bounce and I like that a lot better still not perfect um, so what we can do is we can come back over here to the middle one and we can um, do something with the legs too maybe move the legs a little bit uh, maybe move that one in a little bit I don't know how that looks it looks decent uh, you guys can keep playing with yours but once you have it to how you like it click this little repeat button and that will keep it looping alright so that'll keep it loop forever so it's a little bit a little bit weird but um, I'm gonna stick with it you guys can go however detailed you want with yours but for the purposes of keeping this tutorial semi short we're gonna go ahead and stick with this so you can hit and by the way if you want to play your animation you just hit the space bar alright so uh, let's go ahead and click these three dots and click export here you if you want to override an existing you can but just go ahead and make sure it's named idle combat and hit submit perfect so now go ahead and copy this ID right here and you can exit out of the animation editor we'll be using it later uh, but for now that's okay just go ahead and insert a script into workspace and uh, let's just comment something out real quick so two dashes and, uh, and type uh, idle animation ID and then we're gonna paste that in uh, that ID we copied okay so now let's go ahead and play our game nothing's gonna happen yet but we need to go ahead and grab the script that we're going to be um, modifying because we're gonna change Roblox's script um, or their original script right so uh, we have this automatic like still idle animation so let's go ahead and find your character whatever your username is go into the workspace find your username and click the little arrow next to it and then you'll see a local script called animate go ahead and right click and copy it now you can stop playing the game and then go into starter player and paste that by right clicking on starter character scripts and paste into next we can come back into our script and let's copy this animation ID once again perfect and then in here where we have our animate let's go in here and scroll down where we have idle on all of these IDs right here let's just paste our ID so all this this long number where it says ID equals just paste your ID right there what we just copied and you can indent it again perfect and then in here where we have idle this uh, this little value you can come in here and you can uh, hit shift and click both of them and then have the animation ID paste that animation ID there so what we're doing is we're telling Roblox this is our new idle animation that we want to use for everybody inside of our game okay now if we hit play we have our very own idle animation that should be playing once we play the game so as you can see my character is doing our little fight animation not very good but go ahead and uh, work on your own on that uh, if you would like to but yeah he's doing his little bounce up and down with his uh, fists and when we walk it stops and then it goes again when we do that uh, do this okay so that is working really well let's dive right into the punching now so for that we're gonna go back into the animation editor and we're gonna create a punch animation okay so uh, let's hit uh, let's click the three dots and then click create new here we can say uh, just call it punch uh, well let's just do punch combat you can name it whatever you want and hit create here we're gonna go ahead and paste because we should have those keyframes pa uh, copied from earlier right because we want it to stay in that animate that idle animation but we're just gonna change things um, in in the animation so I'm gonna go ahead and go to about point between point oh three and point oh six and I'm gonna bring this I'm gonna rotate this part of the arm actually yeah let's do the right arm so make sure it's the right arm or else your scripts not gonna work uh, later so it should be you know if you're looking from here it should be that arm over here okay and then let's just rotate it back all right um, yeah I guess that's not terrible 
trying to, okay, so what we're actually going to do, we're going to rotate it here to about there. And then take the arm lower, uh, the, that's a little lower to it, and we'll put it right there. So as you can see, he kind of winds up for his little punch right there. And then uh, let's drag this these diamonds out to about 0.6. Alright. And then you kind of you kind of want it to bring it back. So let's go over to 0.9. And let's grab the arm right here. And let's just go ahead and drag the green out a little bit. Okay. And then we can drag out the red some more. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So as you can see, he's winding up first punch and then we can come over here and uh, let's come over to about 18 and paste your thing again and now we're gonna change this up a little bit uh, we're gonna rotate this arm to be down more the torso is gonna kinda come around so click the torso and rotate it around some more and the red let's let's bring it down a little bit so it kinda yeah something like that so it's not the greatest, obviously. I'm trying to keep this tutorial shorter. So, um, but totally feel free to do your own sort of uh, better animations. So that's not terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and drag these diamonds and drag them to about between point twelve and point fifteen. So this right about here. So that makes the punch a little faster. And then at, at about right here, it doesn't really matter all that much. Let's just uh, have him fully extend his arm. So let's rotate that up a little bit. Rotate the lower one down some more. And then let's go ahead and take the green and put that like there. So as you can see, it's not looking too bad, honestly. Uh, and let's go ahead and rotate the chest some more at that point. Alright, looking not too bad. And then let's come over to about maybe 24 and paste again. So, I mean, obviously, do your own anim animations uh, that look better than this if you'd like, but, you know, this is going to work for the tutorial. So let's go ahead and click the three dots and click export. And we're going to have this pop up again. Just click submit and go ahead and copy the ID. Let's go into our script in the workspace. Let's also name it. Uh, anim IDs okay and then let's go in here drop a line create a new comment and we'll say punch animation ID and paste the new one okay perfect so let's go ahead and script this so that it actually does something so inside of starter character script we're gonna create a new local script alright and this is gonna do the combat this is gonna handle the combat so let's name it combat and here we can say local player equals game dot players uh, whoops dot local player local character equals game dot workspace colon wait for child uh, player dot name so now we have the player inside of a variable and we have the character the player's character inside of a variable then we can say local mouse equals uh, player colon get mouse because we're going to need the mouse because they click uh, they left click to punch and right click to kick <clears throat> and then uh, I think that's all the variables. Oh wait, no, we're gonna need to do one more thing. Inside of our local script combat, let's insert an animation. Okay, and inside of that animation, let's paste our animation ID that we just made for the punch. Okay, so here in combat, we're gonna say local, and then let's rename this animation to punch. Okay, local punch equals to script colon wait for child punch. Okay. And then we can say local loaded anim equals to character dot humanoid colon load animation punch. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is basically this is going to load this animation into the character. So that whenever we want, we can just say loaded anim colon play, and that's going to do the punch for us. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to say mouse dot button one down colon connect function drop a line and then here we can say loaded anim colon play all right so uh, i'm gonna just go ahead and play this now we are gonna add a lot more uh like damaging the player and um and 
doing a debounce and all that stuff in just a second, but let's just make sure that this works. All right, there we go. As you can see, whenever we right click, we do the punch animation. Perfect. So we're going to create the kick and we're going to do the same thing with the right click, uh, but we're going to do damage in the second part to this uh, series. It's going to be like a two part series. It's really going to be quick. So all you got to do is just watch a couple parts. So uh, just go ahead and click the animation editor one more time. Click the three dots and do create new. Let's call this kick combat. All right. Now let's go ahead and paste our keyframes one more time, and then over at about 0.09, let's go ahead and bring uh, the arms down. And if you don't really know how animation works all that well, uh, I did make an animation video on my channel about it, so you can feel free to go ahead and watch that. Alright, so uh, perfect. Let's go ahead and start to bring this leg up. So rotate it pretty far up but make sure that the lower leg is down. So also make sure that this is the right leg or else your script won't work later. So again, if you're looking at it from like this perspective, this leg, not that side, the right side. All right, and then let's go ahead and uh, move that uh, leg back. We can rotate it just a little bit. So um, he kind of brings his uh, arms down, his leg up, and he's ready to kick. So at about point 0.12, let's just go ahead and kick so there we go and then we can grab the upper leg one more time and rotate it a little bit higher so we have that kick boom and then let's copy those or paste those keyframes again and boom there we go we have our kick so we can drag this out a little farther so that he has a little bit more time to get back down and then I also want to change something about in here let's go ahead and rotate the torso to be a little bit higher so as you can see, he kind of moves his whole body up. And then uh, where he uh, really lifts his leg up fully at about 0.12, rotate it even farther. So as you can see, we have that little kick, the thrust, and that looks pretty decent, okay? Not the greatest, again, go ahead and make something better, but let's click export, kick combat, submit, and copy the ID. Now, let's go ahead and come back into combat, Cl uh, click that punch animation and click control D to duplicate it, and then rename it to kick, so this is going to be our next one. Change this animation ID to, uh, to the one we just copied, so that new animation for the kick. Here we can say, uh, let's go ahead and change this to loaded punch anim, okay, and loaded punch anim right here, so make sure that both of these say loaded punch anim instead of just loaded anim. Then we can say local kick equals script colon wait for child kick. And then here let's say load, uh, local loaded kick anim equals to character dot humanoid colon load animation kick. And then down here let's just say mouse dot button two down. So that's right click colon connect function. So mouse dot button one down is left click. Mouse dot button two down is right click. And then we can just say loaded kick and I'm colon play. And that's all we have to do. So when they uh, right click, button two down, they're going to do the kick. When they left click, they are going to do the punch. So let's go ahead and play this game. And our animation should work. We really got most of the work down. In the next part, we'll be working on adding damage to the player when they hit the player, as well as adding a debounce so they can't just spam. Them. So uh, we have this punch. And if we right click, We've done this kick, so that is pretty much all that is to the first part. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if this really helped you out. Uh, in the second part, if it's already out, it'll be up here on the screen right here. If not, subscribe so you do not miss that second part. Also, click over here to subscribe. And yeah, signing off for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and keep on scripting.